So we are at Sea Spice. It's a beautiful Bayside restaurant here in Miami. And it's just got this gorgeous view of the yachts and the water. So I'm actually facing it right now. We'll, we'll show you guys later. So I haven't been here in a while. I probably was here like a year ago and I've never been here during the day. This is the menu and I wanna see what they have. All right, already a few things on the menu that I'm like, what is this watermelon gazpacho? Mm. I know gazpacho is like a cold soup, but I've never had like watermelon soup. And that actually reminds me, I don't really like cold fruit or like cold things on my teeth. The other day I put watermelon in the microwave and instead of like 20 seconds, I put it in for two minutes. So um, yeah, it wasn't the best, but I think this, this cold watermelon gazpacho soup might be kind of interesting to try. Grilled wild prawns, king crab tempura, Hudson Valley foie gras. Fagua. I need to say it correctly, but I'm pretty sure that stands for like grease or fat. Fagua. It's like a French fatty food. So if you don't know already, we were invited to Hamptons Fashion Week. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. That is going to be coming up August 26th. We have a new show that we're putting together and I decided I'm going to tell you guys the, the theme for it. It's going to be Starry Night. I was kind of going back and forth between a few different um, names that I want to call it, but gonna go with the Starry Night theme. So I'm actually bringing in a few different collections to kind of bring out that ambience or that vibe that I want the audience to feel. That's gonna feature some of the liquid metal as well as a little bit of a new collection that I'm not gonna mention, but I'm kind of just grabbing in a few different collections to give it that overall feel of a Starry Night. The music's gonna be really cool. I'm kind of thinking of different songs that have like the word night sky or like starry in it. I actually asked you guys on my Instagram what you thought would be some great songs for that. So I'm gonna be putting in the songs that you guys chose for me. I'm gonna be putting that into the show. And so I'm looking at the entrees. I'm kind of in the mood for some grilled Branzino. I think like the presentation of that would be kind of cool to see. Then I'm looking at this Market Seafood Bouillé, Boule, Bouillé Bessé. I need to get better at my French. <laughs> but that sounds interesting. It's like a Chilean sea bass, some Wagyu. So they have kind of a bit of everything, it looks like. Pizza, can't go wrong with that. A little pizza action. Wild mushroom risotto. I love mushrooms, so I might give that a shot. All right, so this is called a focaccia bread, and it's hollow inside from what he told me. I've, I've seen this before, but um, anyway, you're supposed to stab it, so I'm just going to give it a shot. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, it's kind of like pizza crust. I like. All right. It's like a hot pocket with nothing in it. Yay. Mm. Parmesan cheese on it. Mm. Okay, the waiter just brought the food and he said it was called the Meli Melo. And these were the merengue chips, the merenga chips, I think is what he said. Oh, and it's a root vegetable. And then it has a layer of tuna tartare. There's some salmon on there. I think that's yuca on the bottom, but I'm not 100% sure. But it looks 100% good. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. So I ordered this. It's watermelon gazpacho. It's cold watermelon soup. Sounds super interesting. There's a flower on it, and I hope it's edible. I'm sure it is, but we're going to give this cold soup a try. I want to say earthy, but I don't know if it's because I just ate a flower. Crisp from the cucumber. Fresh because of the watermelon. Nutty because of the almond. I taste a bit of like olive oil almost in it. There's like some oil on top. I think it's like fresh and like earthy, if you will. I still kind of like feel like it's a bit earthy. I like it though. It's really good. Bon appetit. So I want to talk about a little lesson that I took from coming back from New York Swim Week. After that whole week, I was actually really stressed out and really burnt out, if you will. I feel like I was really burning the candle from both ends of the stick. And that's kind of how I operate anyway. I feel like I'm kind of go, go, go. And then finally, I don't like to say I hit a wall, but finally like I hit a point where I'm like, okay, I really have to get some rest. How I feel I overcame that was I just got done the things that I knew I really had to get done in the beginning of the day. And I told myself that I'm never gonna get everything done. I'm always gonna have that running to-do list. Like I work on this seven days a week. There isn't really a break for me. My point is, is that when I felt that I was burned out, I decided, to get those top three things done that I had to get done in the very beginning of the day. And then I gave myself kind of the rest of the day to rest and just do like little tasks here and there. 
When you're starting a business, you have to be on your game pretty much 24 seven minus your sleep. You have to be on it. You don't really have time to take breaks. But I feel that if you're doing something that you really enjoy, you don't really feel like you, you need that long rest. I'm kind of go, go, go. I burn out. That's okay. That's part of being an entrepreneur. I feel like that's how you recover faster instead of trying to fight through it all the time because we're human at the end of the day. Oh, we can put it right here. Chili and sea bass and like Yukon potatoes. So that is fat that they put in the middle. They put fat in the middle to cook the Wagyu steak around it. And all right, and this is Wagyu steak from Japan too, yes. isn't it? We hold the birth certificate of the cow. Oh wow, they just said they hold the birth certificate of the cow. It smells good, oh my gosh. Sea salt and then also black volcanic salt. So they put that on top. Interesting. Ask for over medium. Delicious, thank you. I'm gonna put some of this volcanic rock salt on here. Yeah, I'll save that for the salty man. So I'm gonna try this. It's literally like butter. It's like so tender, so juicy. Wow, it's really good. <laughs> I love Chilean sea bass. You can say it both ways. I don't know how you say it. Chilean, Chilean sea bass or Chilean sea bass. Whatever kind of mood you're in. It's so good. It's like buttery. I love it. Okay, so we just left the restaurant. I'm running late for my piano class and I'm actually taking singing lessons too. I've been taking piano and singing lessons now for about seven months. It's just been a really fun outlet. I'm having a ton of fun with it. I wouldn't consider myself like the best singer in the world, but it's just really fun to, to give it your all at something. And I just like to be able to sing along as I'm playing piano. I would consider myself more of like a shower singer, if you will, where I feel great when I like belt out like the highest note and the biggest, longest note. It just feels like empowering. And I feel like it was more of an outlet for me as well. And then I also just really enjoy just like giving something my all. Like my whole life I've been involved in fitness and I've been super active. And before you do any sort of fitness activity, you have to warm up. It's actually the same with singing as well. Like I'm learning all about the whole throat action, the whole mouth. I'm learning about all that stuff. So you actually have to warm up your vocals as well. Anyway, running late for a piano practice. So I'm just going to give a little warm up action now. So don't mind me. So now we have come to the Oz and I'm assuming the purpose of that is to elongate. Don't quote me on this one. Whoa, okay. We're doing the Oz next and I'm just gonna show you what we do. Okay. Uh, okay, now we're moving on to the numbers and the purpose of the numbers is to develop corners from my understanding. And corners is when you have like this very sharp edge, think of it like a staircase to all of your sound. One, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, one, eight. Gotta get a vibrato out there. Okay, hopefully my teacher doesn't see me doing this because it's like, I feel like I wanna be perfect in front of her. So hopefully she doesn't hear my, my not so perfect warm up. Start from the very beginning then? Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's where she sounds shaky, like um, like she's gonna cry or something there. So, head voice and I've made some real. I've made some real. Do you feel like your chest shakes when that happens? Like, ugh. <laughs> Breathe. How's the vein doing today? How's the, how's the vein popping up? <laughs> I wanted to learn the beginning, like the very beginning of how she sounds. It's like, da -da, da -da. can you tell me the first words, please? Okay, <laughs> ah, yes, okay. I see the parties and the diamonds. Sometimes when I close my eyes, six months of torture you sold for some forbidden paradise. Come out at night, I used to think I was smart. You made me look so naive the way you That's what I'm higher doing now. How's the castle? That's all people you pretend to care about. 
Look at you.